G'day guys, Steve Morgan here from Fishing Monthly Magazines and a wonderful morning down on the Tweed River in New South Wales here with Duncan Blakely from Formosa Boats. It's a company that's gone through its 20th year this year in uh, 2018. Uh, they'll be making aluminium boats in South East Queensland and uh, Duncan we've got the uh, the sea rod offshore in the 5.8 metre here at the moment. That's one of the boats we're going to be putting through its paces today. Um, for people that don't know about Formosa hulls, and I'm one of them, I've never been in many Formosa hulls, give us the, the, the basics of Formosa. Why are they such a good aluminium hull? Yeah, well, in that 20 years, we've um, been basing a lot of our designs on uh, aiming at the fishing market. So uh, we've been known as, um, particularly within the centre consoles, uh, and about um, eight years ago, we decided to go fully into the plate market. And through that time, we've worked a lot with our dealers and our customers to come up with uh, the perfect design. And that means changing everything from um, how the boats are built, dead rise, and the overall size and uh, functionality of the boat. So this one, as we said, is our offshore series. It's the um, upgrade version of our classic range. So the difference between this in, and the classic is that it's got um, it's a high tensile uh, boat, four mil bottoms, four mil sides. Uh, it has a self-draining scupper set on it, uh, so it doesn't work on a bilge like other boats. And also the flooring in it is usually a, a fully sealed aluminium floor with carpet, but this model today has um, a checker plate uh, option on it. Now, does this 580 have your water ballast system that's, that's popular through the bigger Formosas? Yeah, that's right. In the Sea Rodge range, we do uh, the water ballast system from the 520 up. Uh, now, it's quite unique to the Australian market. Uh, you don't see it on any other brands because of the size of our boats. Uh, it's not a, a central keel line water ballast, it's actually four tubes and the way that works is to uh, counterbalance side movement so it's an additional balance uh, particularly at rest that customers will enjoy. Now uh, also famous for Formosa boats are all the various iterations of the transoms that you have. Um, we've seen boats today that have got the, the full access transom. Uh, explain the transom in this boat. Yeah, um, so in the sea rod we call it the, uh, the active transom range. And we've got what's called the full axis, we've got a single axle, axis, dual and closed. Today's one is um, our most popular, which is the single axis. Now the good thing about our transom doors is they're actually self-supporting. So you can fold the door down and actually stand on it as well and make it out to be like a little casting deck at the back. Now I noticed this boat, this is a centre console version, this boat, it's a uh, it's it's designed with a lot of cockpit space and foremost is a pretty famous for being that high volume, high, uh, high gunnel, lot of fishing area inside the boat. Uh, this one looks like it's been a little bit customised for a customer, hasn't it? Yeah, that's right. Well, um, actually for Gold Coast uh, Boating Centre have asked us to do this one. So it's unique in that it's got the checker plate floor, which we can do. Uh, it's also got a, a custom paint job inside. Uh, it's got a nice light grey and we can do any boat colours that, that people want to do. And it's got the um, it, unique um, fold down um, T-top which uh, it built in house as well. Yeah and it looks like it's built to withstand a nuclear war that thing, it looks pretty solid. Yeah it's, it's very handy, it's particularly for customers that have a limited height range for their garage so with that uh, folded down you're uh, less than 2.4 metres. There you go, so uh, this boat's powered by Yamaha's superlative 150 horsepower four stroke. Let's talk to Will Lee from Yamaha to get the oil on that motor. So, Will Lee, uh, you've been with Yamaha for a few years now and you've followed some of these motors through their introduction to the market, but this fella here, the 150 Yamaha, it's an old stalwart of the range, isn't it? Yeah, our 150, it's a red hot engine, Steve, it really is. Um, it's very, very popular with fishermen, but then it's also very popular in the commercial sector, which we play a lot in at Yamaha. Um, this motor here, it's on, a, it's on a real fishing boat. These plate aluminium boats are pretty much, uh, you know, you see them all up and down Australia, but especially in Queensland, Queenslanders like them. What do they like most about this platform? Look, the 150, it's just a workhorse and it's very robust. You've got it in all of the Yamaha range. What we have, we have an exclusive aluminium alloy, which we call YDC30. Now, what does that give you? Lightweight alloy with really good anti-corrosive properties and then you put a five phase paint process on top of that alloy and you've got an engine that's going to go the distance. And when you see people that buy plate boats, the typical plate boat customer isn't someone that sits there polishing their motor every day. They want to put it on the back of the boat, never put any oil in it and put the minimum amount of, pet amount of petrol in it and then for it to still look and perform well. That's, that's sort of a summary, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we see some Yamahas that have been pretty neglected, but you know what? They're still running. 
Um, Yamaha also covered by a great warranty. Explain the warranty on this 150. Yeah, so in Australia you get a four-year warranty. Uh, part of the way to get that four-year warranty is to retain a good relationship with your Yamaha dealership and bring it back in for your scheduled maintenance services. And that's uh, every 100 hours or one year? Yeah, look, from a new engine, if it was a new buyer, uh, you have a three-month, 20-hour service and then ongoing is a 12-month, 100-hour service there on in. So there you go. Uh, only put petrol in, get them serviced and those things, these things will uh, last you for ages. Uh, what we like to do at Fishing Monthly is get these boats out of the water. So, Willie, we're going to take this 150 for a run and see exactly how it goes. Well, there you go. There's a few shots of this boat running around out on the Tweed River. And of all the boats we've tested down on the Tweed today, this is the most serious of the fishing boats, especially for people who are in this part of the world, i.e. the east coast of Australia. Um, really impressive was the economy of this boat. It had that F-150 Yamaha on the back, delivered 2.1 kilometres per litre of fuel burned at uh, 3,500 RPM. At that uh, RPM, it was doing 40 kilometres an hour. Gives you a cruising range with a 200 litre tank. Theoretically, nearly 400 kilometres and I don't know anyone who can fish that much in a weekend. Um, like all of the Formosas as well, it has a version of the active transom. This one has just the single transom door but like all Formosas you can step on it and it becomes an integral part of the structure of this boat when you're out there fishing. Like all Formosas as well, four mil bottom, four mil sides, built tough, high gunnels, beamy. This one comes in at 2.45 metres wide. Um, plenty of space in there for any of your fishing adventures. Uh, you'll also notice that uh, that T-top behind me built solid. We were swinging off that thing all day. Um, real solid. This boat's been built by fishermen for fishermen. No one's going to be able to break it. No one's going to be able to uh, complain that there's not enough room in it to do what you want. Of course, it has the uh, it's the offshore design, which means it hasn't got the plywood floors. It's got the self-draining aluminium checker plate floors. Um, so bulletproof, whether it's upside down or the right way up, this thing's going to float. Um, as tested, this boat came in at just under $70,000. For more information, go to Formosa Marine Boats dot com dot au or if you're on facebook like formosa marine for new models and latest updates this is steve morgan checking out from the tweed river